NASA officials have issued a tremendous warning before shutting down all activities. After years of groundbreaking missions and discoveries, this revelation is shaking the space community. What has led NASA to take such drastic measures? What hidden dangers or challenges are they facing? Join us as we uncover the reasons behind this unprecedented decision and explore the future implications for space exploration. NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, has been at the forefront of space exploration since its inception in 1958. One of its most iconic achievements was the Apollo program, which aimed to land humans on the moon. The crowning moment came on July 20, 1969, when Apollo 11's Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to set foot on the lunar surface. This monumental achievement demonstrated American ingenuity, but also marked a significant leap for mankind. The Apollo missions weren't just about putting a man on the moon. They provided invaluable scientific data, including lunar rock samples and extensive photographs of the moon's surface. These missions also paved the way for future space exploration by proving that human space travel was possible and sustainable. But Apollo, was just the beginning. NASA continued to push the boundaries of space exploration with the Space Shuttle program. Launched in 1981, the Space Shuttle allowed for repeated human missions to space, enabling the construction of the International Space Station, ISS. The International Space Station became a hub for international collaboration and scientific research, with astronauts conducting experiments that have led to advancements in medicine, engineering, and environmental science. NASA's robotic missions have also achieved remarkable success. The Mars rover missions, including Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity, have explored the Martian surface, searching for signs of past life and studying the planet's climate and geology. These rovers have sent back a treasure trove of data, transforming our understanding of Mars and its potential to support life. Recent years have brought new challenges and concerns. The increasing frequency of solar storms poses significant risks to satellites and space missions. Solar storms can disrupt communications, damage electronic equipment, and even endanger astronauts. The Parker Solar Probe, launched in 2018, aims to study the sun's outer atmosphere and better predict solar weather, but the threat remains. Budget constraints have also been a persistent issue. NASA's funding has fluctuated over the years, impacting its ability to plan and execute long-term missions. The cost of maintaining the ISS, developing new spacecraft, and funding cutting-edge research continues to strain resources. The emergence of private space companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin has shifted the landscape of space exploration. While these companies have made significant strides, their rise also brings new competition and collaboration challenges for NASA. So why has NASA issued this tremendous warning now? What developments have pushed them to the brink of halting all activities? These questions loom large as we move to uncover the hidden reasons behind this unprecedented decision. Could it be a combination of technical, financial, and existential threats? Or is there something more ominous at play? First and foremost, the warning focuses on the increasing threat of solar storms. Solar storms caused by eruptions on the sun's surface can release massive amounts of energy and charged particles into space. When these particles hit Earth, they can disrupt our magnetic field, potentially causing widespread damage to satellites, power grids, and communication networks. NASA officials have stated that what is being called a Internet apocalypse could occur from a very strong solar storm. The Internet's infrastructure, particularly the submarine cables that link continents, could be destroyed by such an incident. Concerns have been voiced about the possibility of such a catastrophic disruption, considering how reliant on digital communication modern civilization is. There are growing concerns about the aging infrastructure of NASA's space hardware. 
Many of NASA's satellites and space probes have been operational far beyond their expected lifespans. This includes the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been in service for over 30 years, and the Voyager probes, which have been exploring the outer reaches of our solar system for over four decades. The risk of critical system failures is increasing, and the cost and complexity of maintaining these aging assets are becoming unsustainable. Another significant factor contributing to the warning is the financial strain on NASA's budget. The costs of developing new technologies, maintaining the International Space Station, and funding ongoing missions have escalated. With limited resources, NASA faces tough decisions about which programs to prioritize. This financial crunch has been exacerbated by fluctuating government funding and the need to collaborate with private companies, which introduces new challenges and uncertainties. NASA has expressed concerns about the increasing amount of space debris orbiting Earth. Thousands of defunct satellites, spent rocket stages and other fragments pose a significant collision risk to operational spacecraft. A collision in space could create more debris, leading to a cascading effect known as the Kessler Syndrome, which could make space activities increasingly hazardous. The warning also touches on the potential impact of geopolitical tensions on space exploration. The international nature of space missions requires collaboration among various countries. Rising geopolitical tensions could threaten these partnerships, complicating joint missions and shared use of space resources. The primary reason for this shutdown is multifaceted, involving both technical and financial challenges. NASA officials have made it clear that the risks posed by increasing solar storm activity, aging infrastructure and financial constraints have reached a tipping point. The recent data indicating more frequent and intense solar storms have raised the alarm suggesting that the threat to satellites, power grids, and communication networks is imminent and severe. To safeguard these critical systems, NASA has decided to halt operations temporarily. This decision means that all current missions will be suspended, including the highly publicized Parker Solar Probe and the Large Hadron Collider. The Parker Solar Probe, launched to study the Sun's outer atmosphere, has been providing invaluable data on solar weather. Its suspension means a significant gap in our understanding and prediction of solar storms, leaving Earth more vulnerable to their effects. The Large Hadron Collider, although primarily managed by CERN, involves significant collaboration with NASA. The Large Hadron Collider's work in particle physics is crucial for understanding the fundamental building blocks of the universe. Suspending NASA's contributions could slow down groundbreaking research and delay critical discoveries that could reshape our understanding of physics. The closure has far-reaching immediate effects. There will be no more missions such as the Mars rover program. These rovers have been scouring the Martian surface, examining the climate and geology of the planet while looking for evidence of extinct life. The gathering of essential data will be delayed if these missions are discontinued, which could postpone the date of the next human exploration of Mars. The International Space Station, a hub for international collaboration and scientific research, will also feel the impact. NASA's contributions to the International Space Station are substantial, and halting these activities could disrupt ongoing experiments and international cooperation. This decision could lead to strained relationships with partner space agencies, affecting future collaborations. In the long term, the effects of this shutdown could be even more significant. Research and development of new technologies will be delayed, impacting future missions and innovations. NASA has been working on new spacecraft, advanced propulsion systems, and sustainable technologies for long-term space exploration. This progress will be stymied, potentially delaying human missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The monetary ramifications are as important. Redistributing finances and resources in the event of a halt to operations could result in job losses and other negative effects on the economy 
for the aerospace sector. The entire rate of space exploration may be slowed down by the knock-on effect, which might affect private space enterprises that depend on NASA contracts and partnerships. But what are the potential benefits of this decision? Could this shutdown be a strategic move to reassess and reallocate resources more effectively? NASA officials suggest that this pause will allow for a comprehensive review of current projects, risks, and strategies. This could lead to more focused and efficient use of resources, ensuring that future missions are better planned and executed. One of the primary technical challenges facing NASA is the increasing threat of solar storms. These storms, caused by massive eruptions on the Sun's surface, can release a torrent of charged particles and energy into space. When these particles collide with Earth's magnetic field, they can wreak havoc on satellites, power grids, and communication systems. NASA's Parker Solar Probe has been studying these solar phenomena to better predict and mitigate their effects. The latest data suggests that future solar storms could be far more severe than previously anticipated, posing significant risks to all space missions. Another significant technical challenge involves particle collisions. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN, which smashes subatomic particles together at near-light speeds, has been a groundbreaking tool for discovering new particles and understanding the universe's fundamental laws. These high-energy collisions also present risks. There's ongoing concern about potential side effects, such as the creation of micro-black holes or other exotic particles that could have unforeseen consequences. While the probability of such events is extremely low, the stakes are high enough to warrant caution. Budgetary and financial restrictions are still another important aspect affecting NASA's choice. NASA must juggle a lot of expensive projects while working within a tight budget. Significant financial resources are needed for the upkeep of the International Space Station, the creation of new spacecraft, and the financing of several research projects. NASA has struggled to continue operations due to shifting government support and budget cuts over the years. The requirement for cutting-edge technology and the growing costs associated with guaranteeing mission success and safety have resulted in an increasingly onerous financial burden. The discussion has also been spurred by conjecture and hypotheses regarding extraterrestrial encounters and unusual architecture, in addition to these concrete difficulties. According to certain theories, NASA's decision-making has been impacted by evidence it has found of extraterrestrial life during its missions. For example, there has been much discussion over the possibility that NASA and other space agencies have discovered highly developed alien civilizations or mysterious constructions on the Moon or Mars. Even while these theories are frequently written off as conjectural or conspiratorial, they give the story a fascinating underbelly. The theory of extraterrestrial encounters proposes that NASA's missions have revealed hostile intentions or superior technology from alien beings. According to this theory, the potential threat posed by these encounters has led NASA to halt further exploration to avoid public panic and prevent interference with these advanced civilizations. Supporters of this theory argue that evidence of such encounters has been deliberately concealed to maintain public trust in space exploration and scientific progress. Strange structures on the Moon and Mars have also sparked curiosity. Some believe that these structures could be signs of ancient civilizations or ongoing alien activity. Reports of astronauts encountering inexplicable phenomena during lunar and Martian missions have fueled these theories. While NASA operates with a principle of transparency, the idea of hidden knowledge persists in popular discourse. So how do these underlying reasons converge to explain NASA's shutdown decision? It's a combination of technical risks, financial limitations, and speculative theories that paint a complex picture. Are we witnessing a cautious move to reassess priorities and strategies, or is there more to the story than meets the eye? 
As we continue to explore these questions, it becomes clear that the implications of this shutdown are intense and far-reaching. NASA has a long history of collaborating with international space agencies. One of the most prominent examples is the International Space Station ISS, a joint project involving NASA, Roscosmos, ESA, JAXA, and CSA. The International Space Station serves as a hub for scientific research and technological development, fostering international cooperation. With NASA shutting down its activities, the coordination and support for International Space Station operations could face disruptions. This could impact ongoing experiments and future plans, potentially straining relationships with partner agencies. The first Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog mission began on June 25, 2023, with a crew of four brave astronauts, Commander Kelly Haston, Science Officer Anka Solario, Flight Engineer Ross Brockwell, and Medical Officer Nathan Jones. For 378 days, these astronauts lived and worked in a 1,700-square-foot habitat completely isolated from the outside world. This habitat, which was 3D printed to simulate potential Martian construction methods, was divided into living quarters and working spaces, including laboratories and utility areas. One of the key aspects of the Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog mission was the simulation of communication delays. On Mars, it takes about 20 minutes for a signal to travel between Earth and the Red Planet. To mimic this, the crew experienced half-hour delays in their communications with Mission Control, testing their ability to operate autonomously. The astronauts had to grow their own food to supplement their rations, dealing with the challenges of self-sufficiency in a confined space. The findings from the Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog mission were groundbreaking. The crew successfully grew and harvested crops, providing valuable insights into sustainable living on Mars. They also conducted various experiments, including rock sample collection and analysis, which are crucial for understanding Mars's geology and potential for supporting life. The mission also offered a unique perspective on the psychological aspects of long-term isolation and confinement. NASA scientists observed how the crew managed stress, maintained teamwork, and coped with the absence of real-time communication with loved ones. One of the most fascinating aspects of the mission was the use of virtual reality headsets. These virtual reality devices allowed the astronauts to experience simulated Mars environments, enhancing their training and preparation for actual Mars missions. The Mars XR Challenge, a public competition, contributed to these VR simulations, demonstrating the growing role of technology in space exploration. So, what does the future hold for the Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog program? NASA is already planning additional missions to build on the success of the first one. The next Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog mission aims to introduce more complex scenarios, including potential emergencies and resource shortages, to further test the resilience and adaptability of the crew. These missions will continue to refine the technologies and strategies needed for a successful human presence on Mars. The importance of the Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog program for Mars exploration cannot be overstated. The data collected from these simulations will inform the design of habitats, life support systems, and mission protocols for future manned missions to Mars. By understanding the challenges and solutions in a controlled environment, NASA can better prepare astronauts for the real journey to the Red Planet. As we reflect on NASA's decision to shut down activities, the progress and potential of programs like Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog emphasizes the stakes involved. Will the shutdown delay the momentum of such critical research, or will it provide a necessary pause to reassess and strengthen our approach to space exploration? NASA's recent decision to shut down all activities has undoubtedly stirred public perception and skepticism regarding space exploration. 
Over the years, the public's view of NASA has evolved significantly, reflecting broader societal concerns and priorities. How has this perception changed, and what does it mean for the future of space exploration? In the early days of space exploration, NASA was seen as a symbol of human ingenuity and technological prowess. The Apollo missions, culminating in the moon landing in 1969, captured the public's imagination and were celebrated as monumental achievements. As time passed, public interest began to wane. Space exploration was no longer seen as a race against geopolitical rivals, but as a costly endeavor with uncertain returns. In recent years, skepticism about the value of space exploration has grown. Many argue that the substantial funds allocated to NASA could be better spent addressing urgent global challenges such as climate change, poverty, and health care. This sentiment has been amplified by the visible and immediate impacts of these issues compared to the abstract and long-term benefits of space exploration. Critics question whether the quest to explore distant planets is justified when pressing problems remain unsolved here on Earth. Public perception has also been influenced by high-profile failures and setbacks in space missions. The tragic deaths of the Space Shuttle's Columbia in 2003 and Challenger in 1986 brought attention to the dangers that come with spaceflight and sparked doubts about the dependability and safety of NASA's operations. These incidents contributed to a more cautious and sometimes skeptical view of NASA's initiatives. So, how does NASA aim to balance space exploration with addressing global issues? The agency has made significant efforts to demonstrate the practical benefits of its research and technologies. For instance, satellite data from NASA's Earth Science Division is crucial for monitoring climate change, tracking natural disasters, and managing natural resources. These applications have direct implications for improving life on Earth and addressing some of the most pressing challenges we face. NASA has been actively fostering collaborations with other government agencies, private companies, and international partners to maximize the impact of its work. The development of new technologies for space exploration often leads to innovations that have practical applications on Earth. For example, advancements in materials, science, robotics, and medical technologies initially developed for space missions have found their way into everyday use improving quality of life, and driving economic growth. NASA also emphasizes the inspirational and educational value of space exploration. By pushing the boundaries of what is possible, NASA inspires the next generation of scientists, engineers, and innovators. Educational programs and public outreach efforts aim to engage the public and emphasize the broader significance of space exploration for humanity's future. The agency recognizes the need to communicate its goals and achievements more effectively. Transparency and public engagement are key components of NASA's strategy to build support and address skepticism. By providing clear and accessible information about the benefits and challenges of space exploration, NASA hopes to foster a more informed and supportive public. NASA's decision to shut down all activities has sparked intense discussion about the future of space exploration. Despite this setback, the agency has ambitious plans and missions on the horizon that promise to push the boundaries of human knowledge and capability. What does the future hold for NASA, and how will it navigate the challenges ahead? One of the cornerstone initiatives for NASA's future is the Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon by 2024. Named after the twin sister of Apollo, Artemis represents a new era of lunar exploration. The program's goals extend beyond simply landing astronauts on the moon. Artemis is designed to establish a sustainable human presence on the lunar surface by the end of the decade. This will involve constructing a lunar base camp and utilizing the moon's resources to support long-term missions. 
The Artemis program will rely heavily on collaboration with private companies and international partners. NASA has already partnered with companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin to develop new spacecraft and landers. SpaceX's Starship and Blue Origin's Blue Moon Lander are critical components of the Artemis missions. These partnerships leverage the innovation and resources of the private sector, accelerating the development of new technologies and reducing costs. International collaboration is also a key element of Artemis. NASA has signed agreements with space agencies from Europe, Japan, Canada and other countries to contribute various technologies and expertise. For example, the European Space Agency is providing the service module for the Orion spacecraft, which will transport astronauts to the Moon. Japan and Canada are contributing components for the Lunar Gateway, a space station that will orbit the Moon and serve as a staging point for lunar landings. But why is returning to the Moon so important? The Moon serves as a proving ground for new technologies and approaches that will be essential for future missions to Mars and beyond. By mastering the challenges of lunar exploration, NASA aims to develop the capabilities needed for deep space missions. This includes advancements in life support systems, habitat construction, and resource utilization. The knowledge gained from Artemis will pave the way for human exploration of Mars, which is the ultimate goal for NASA and its partners. A crucial aspect of NASA's future plans is the focus on sustainability. The agency is committed to developing long-term approaches that ensure the viability of human activities in space. This means creating systems that are reusable, cost-effective, and capable of supporting extended missions. For instance, the development of in-situ resource utilization technologies will allow astronauts to harvest and use materials found on the Moon and Mars, reducing the need to transport supplies from Earth. As NASA looks to the future, it is clear that international and private sector collaborations will play an important role. These partnerships enable the pooling of resources expertise and technologies making ambitious missions feasible. The challenges are significant, but the potential rewards are immense. The successful execution of the Artemis program and other future missions will advance our understanding of the universe, but also inspire a new generation of scientists, engineers and explorers.